Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to Food According to El Roca. Okay, guys, for our steamed bread, we've got three cups of flour, three teaspoons of yeast, one teaspoon of salt, three to four teaspoons of sugar. That will depend on how sweet you want it. I usually use four teaspoons and some lukewarm water, one teaspoon coarse black pepper, one grated carrot, half a cup, a quarter cup of fresh coriander. So now with the three ingredients, the black pepper, the carrot and the fresh coriander, you don't have to add it. I add it just to add some flavor into my steam bread. So you can add that just to enhance the flavor. You can put any flavor that you like. Like uh, an example would be putting in some chopped um, uh, peppers, like robot peppers. You can add those just to add some flavor in there. And then you can add maybe mixed herbs and those those peppers. Or you can add some chili inside your maybe chili flakes to make it hot. So steam bread doesn't have to be plain, guys. If you don't want it plain, it adds a lot. You can add a lot of flavor in it. It enhances whatever stew that you can have it have it with, or you can have it as it is with some butter on it. Because I mean, if you put flavor in there, you can have it that way. So uh, from this, uh, at at some stage, you can stop if you want it to be plain. Then you don't have to add those three things, which is the black pepper, the coriander, and the carrot. You can just have it as plain as it is. It depends on you and what you like. So I'm adding uh, some 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 flavor there. So as you can realize, the, the steam bread is very easy, guys. All you need is some water, some yeast, salt, some sugar. And voila, you can steam it and you, you are ready to serve. You can have it with a stew, either a beef stew or a chicken stew. In this case, I had it with some uh, chicken stew, which I will post um, the recipe at a later stage. Uh, but you can have it with so many things, even uh, some grilled chicken and gravy. You can also have it with that. I'm going to start um, mixing it with some spatula, but I'm going to use my hand as I go on. I'm just starting it off with a, with a spatula. So as you can see, I'm going to be adding water. Like when you add your water, uh, I put, at first I put one cup of lukewarm water. And then I added a little bit more. Because you don't want it to get too sticky, so you add your water as you go along. Don't add the whole cup at the same time, because you are trying to get a certain cons consistency. So you have to add it a little bit at a time until you reach the correct consistency. Because you don't want it to be too soft and you can't even work with it, because you are going to be kneading the dough. So when you knead the dough, you're going to put it on a clean surface and use your hand to knead the dough. And after kneading the dough, guys, you are going to put it somewhere, maybe a room temperature or a little warm. You can put it outside if the sun is shining just for like 30 minutes or so. And it will rise a little bit. And then from there, you can like start steaming it. So with mine, every time I steam my, I, I make this steamed bread, ne? I try, I, I start, I, I use muffin pans. I make little balls, put them into muffin pans 
and then I steam it. That way, I I I notice that when I do it that way, then it's it it gets done quicker because it's not a big ball. If it's smaller balls, then it will it will be done very quickly. But if it's a big one, then it, it's gonna take time to steam the whole thing right through the bread. So I'm going to be making small balls and then I'm going to use a muffin pan to steam it. I will show you how it's done, but you can do it any way that you feel comfortable or depends on the pot that you're going to be using. If you have a smaller pot or a bigger one, you can put it in a silver. Maybe I'll show you maybe a, a, a dish that you can use, maybe a steel dish that you can put inside a pot. And then you can steam it in that in the dish as a whole you don't have to make little balls i do that just so that it can be done quicker You see, you must knead the dough to a point where it doesn't stick anymore. If it's not stick, it's elastic and it's no longer sticking to your hands or to the surface. Now you know you've got the right consistency. So this is how I make it, guys. I don't know. Other people, you find that uh, their, their dough is very sticky and, and, and watery. Some people like it that way, but I like it this way. So now I'm going to, to put it in this dish. I'm just applying a little oil on the sides so that it doesn't stick there. My hands, I work my hands with some oil. Then I'm going to put it in that dish and set it aside for like 30 minutes or so so that it rises a little bit. And then I'm going to start putting it into balls and steaming it. So as you can see, this is how I do it. Then I put it into a pot, close it, and then it's gonna steam. Doesn't take more than, and as it steams, guys, you see it's gonna raise a little bit more into into while while it's busy steaming. And you can just use a knife to check if it's it's done right through, and then your steamed bread is ready. So, guys, I hope you're going to enjoy the video. And thank you again for coming back and watching this video. And please come back and watch more videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like and share the video guys. And thank you so much for coming back to Food According to El Roca. Enjoy!